Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bay Brigade. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year to everyone. This is our new book, Mornings with Jesus for 2023. Isn't it pretty? Our morning devotional and today's devotional is for Sunday, January 1st of 2023. And I hope today finds all of you doing wonderful. And, um, and of course, it still starts with a Bible verse and then an inspirational story and ends with a faith step. So here we go. Our Bible verse goes as follows. My soul is quiet and waits for God alone. My hope comes from him. Psalm 62, 5. Now our inspirational story. My husband and I were married two days after Christmas and spent our honeymoon in New York City. We couldn't wait to celebrate New Year's Eve in the Big Apple. For years, we'd watched tel on television as the iconic Times Square ball dropped. Now we would experience the thrill and excitement for ourselves ringing in the new year. After an evening show on Broadway, we walked out of the theater and into the below zero temperatures. Immediately, we were swept in up into the throng of revelers. Party hats glittered under street lights. Novelty sunglasses blinked on and off. Confetti hovered in the air. And multicolored fog. Mo sorry. Confetti hovered in the air like multicolored fog. It was a magical scene for about five minutes. We began thinking of our warm quiet hotel room just a few blocks away and the festive crowd suddenly seemed congested and claustrophobic. This wasn't how we wanted to begin our new year. We couldn't reflect on what Jesus had done in our lives and invite him into this next chapter as a married couple when we were surrounded by constant chaos and never-ending noise. We wanted, no, we needed a more intimate start for the new year. It's been almost 20 years since that night, but I still think about it when I'm tempted to kick off New Year's with big dreams, elaborate plans, and audacious goals. The best way for me to celebrate is to open my Bible, calm my soul, and withdraw, withdraw into Jesus. Quiet time alone with Him is the best party of all. Emily E. Ryan Faith step. Don't rush through your first moment with Jesus on New Year's Day. Instead, close your eyes, open your heart, and linger in his presence. Amen to that. And in the spirit of our new year, I have something I wanted to do. I would like to light this candle in the memory of all that has happened this year. For the souls that can't be with us anymore. For the souls that will join us this year. For the prayers that have been answered this year. For the struggles that we have made it through. And for the struggles that we may face yet to come. We want to thank God for all the prayers that he's answered. All the strength that he has given us and all the love. And I want to thank you all for joining my family on this channel. It being so wonderful to me. And helping me in this journey as I answer this call to read these devotions every day. Y'all helped keep me going. This light is for you all too. And we light these can this candle for in Jesus' name. And we lift it up for him. And we think of the wonderful things that are to come for this year. And the wonderful people that hopefully will be reached. And that God will find them. And Jesus will save them. And they will also be able to share in Jesus' love. And remember that I love you. And Jesus does too. And I will see y'all on the next one. God bless you and Happy New Year.